Yeah, hello everybody. So I was thinking more and really I decided to upgrade capacitors on this Sony deck uh, because it has a perfect frequency response and with original capacitors the sound is a specific Sony sound but it definitely not so pleasant as it could be according to my practice so I already upgraded Sony K5 with Nichicon Muse capacitors and as a result sound become much more pleasant and if you've seen my previous video where I've been playing the tape recorded on upgraded Sony K5 uh, you would highly probably understand what I'm talking about and the sound is so pleasant it's just not possible to stop listening to it so to do upgrade I have to remove the boards and it will be quite a few connectors which we need to pull out so we will remove the playback amplifier board and we will remove the record amplifier board okay <laughs> let's get I don't want to do it <laughs> It's think that it may be worse. In any case, we always can get it back. I will collect those capacitors and we'll be able to reverse my upgrade if I will decide to. So there is a couple more connectors. Oh, let me see. I will take some tools just to save my, my hands. Because these big connectors are big heavy. Small one maybe if we can just pull out from here. And I would not be replacing power capacitors because those are Elna Silmic. Those are known to be uh, very, very good capacitors. So, a couple more pieces left. And I'm already seeing a difference between Sony K5. So, on the Sony K5, this ground wire cable goes here on the lower connector where the board is. And on this deck it goes to the copper chassis so I believe I have two more here red and, bla and, and black one so that should be it let's install extender to pull out the screws I believe you probably already heard about my upgrade and my friend was very successful in applying it uh, to his decks and to his customer decks and it's prone to be a really positive on the sound so like uh, comparing to the regular Sony sound when there is plenty of high frequencies uh, but at the same time not so good like uh, mid bass between 80 and 200 gears we would be able to make it much more warm and pleasant sound just by replacing capacitors on the audio pass so i believe this would be it for this board let me remove it gently oh one more connector here and the ground wire here okay good to know I 
I recorded videos not because I would be forget about how to assemble everything back. I still have a good memory to be able to do it. But I'm mostly recording videos just to share my experience. And make sure that uh, some of you may like to repeat it. Repeat this upgrade. I may do this upgrade for you if you like. And if you have Sony high-end deck. So this is the one word. We get here. And the last one. Uh, you will get to this board from underneath because it's screwed here underneath so let me change the angle and as you see these sony boards are much more complex than on any other deck you've seen before and the main reason that uh, first of all sony changed process and you see lots of smd uh, elements you see microchips are smd resistors capacitors transistors are smd and they were able to put much more transistors and circuitry and as a result complexity has changed and um, they were able to highly precisely adjust uh, not two but three parameters like uh, bias level and equalization and uh, that's the best deck ever guys from all parameters everything i've seen so far i'm already uh, measured the frequency response so it if we adjust uh, calibrator as it's required here it does uh, like one-to-one -one recording same as you may see uh, in the frequency response for my sony k5 exactly the same picture here it is very very nice okay let me see connectors Worth head, rice head, release the wires here. Release it here. Connector here. Okay, I release it on this side. Here's a couple more. See how many connectors are on this board, how many wires we have to release. Two connectors here. Another one here. Let me see. No, no. we have to release this cable. Release it from here as well. Here and there is a control board and connectors are on the control board side. 
Okay, this guy. This. Black one, the beast. Another black one. You see how many connectors are there? The biggest problem later is to assemble everything back. That's how many wires and connectors on this back. So let's remove it and we would be ready to start replacement. I will be changing the view so it would be more convenient to see and see you in the next part replacements.